Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here, and in this video I will be giving my review for You Might Be the Killer. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. I hate to say this, but You Might Be the Killer is the story of Sam, a regular guy who finds himself on the run from a masked serial killer that has been brutally murdering his fellow camp counselors. Desperate, Sam reaches out to his friend Chuck, who is an expert in all things horror. She becomes Sam's lifeline as he tries to evade death by avoiding common horror tropes and save his friends. But when Chuck challenges Sam with the notion that Sam himself might be the killer, Sam must race to uncover the haunting truth of the masked maniac's identity and the mask's supernatural powers all before it's too late. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. I absolutely enjoyed this movie. I had a blast watching it. It was so much fun. You Might Be the Killer reminded me of so many other movies, such as Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, even The Mask with Jim Carrey, and of course you cannot watch this movie without thinking of Friday the 13th. And there's also scenes where you see the killer's point of view through the mask of the killer, and this puts me in mind of a few of the Halloween movies. So there's a good deal of kind of a throwback feeling to this in that respect. But just overall, just such a amazingly fun movie to watch. Now going into this one, I was a little worried that with knowing the killer's identity from the start of the movie, that it could quite possibly be the thing that hurts the movie the most. But I was wrong in thinking so because they absolutely nail this concept. So the plot of this one centers around a phone conversation between best friends, Sam and Chuck. Now, this conversation lasts for the entire movie. And I know that that seems like a odd concept, but this conversation sets up the flashbacks and shows us the gruesome events that lead us up to present time. And I was absolutely impressed by how well they were able to pull off this concept. So with all the flashbacks going on, I never found myself lost at any point. I was able to follow the movie perfectly and had no issues with it. And as I said, was very impressed with the concept. I thought the movie had a very good sense of humor about it. I found myself enjoying all the characters. I thought the killer was amazing. I thought his look was amazing. And I enjoyed his backstory. The kills were fantastic. And there is a large variety of kills which should please any slasher fan. I thought the character of Chuck was very interesting as she takes her side of the phone call while she's at work. And she works at a movie and bookstore. And while she's talking to Sam, she is walking around the store. And you get to see a lot of really cool B-horror movie posters hanging in the background. And they all seem to be of somewhat recent movies within the past 10 years or so. And I just thought it was really cool to put some of those movies in a spotlight and kind of get them out there so maybe people might be interested in them and check them out as well. So overall, there's nothing really bad I'm going to be able to say about this movie as I enjoyed it from start to finish. I thought the ending was very cool as well. So with that being said, I'm going to give You Might Be the Killer an 8.5 out of 10 as I just was amazed by it and highly entertained by it. And movies like this makes me excited for the future of slasher movies. I hope a lot of you guys check this one out. Um, 
if you do or if you find what I've had to say about you might be the killer interesting, please like, leave me comments below, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about You Might Be the Killer. Thank you for watching.